No, it's exciting to have football. And, you know, if you have air conditioning, sit back and watch some football. That's okay to do today. Uh, anything to kind of get some relief from the heat that we're about to experience. Here in San Diego, we're not used to that mugginess in this hot weather. Uh, you know, uh, temperatures for this time of year, certainly exceptionally hotter than what we've been used to. So let's show you the view. Hotel Del Coronado. I am very curious what they are creating right there. I'm, I just need to go pay him a visit, I think, and see what's going on there. But, yeah, they have this new kind of overhang that they have out there so uh, we'll keep an eye on that but overall you know a lot of people will be going to the beaches if they can obviously today is a work day for many people work day a school day uh, and you know just make sure as you get your kids ready for school that you don't necessarily bundle them up there is no reason for that on a day like this if they're allowed to wear tank tops and shorts I say go for it right now we're looking at our west facing camera typically this would all be covered in clouds not happening this morning we don't have much of a marine layer the Winds from the mountains and the deserts are coming in, pushing against that marine layer. So it's kind of nudging the clouds out over the ocean. We saw that happening around 8, 9 o'clock last night. Uh, and temperatures at our coastline, 70 degrees right now. Humidity is at 84%. We're about to get to pretty warm. I mean, we're looking at another 10 to 15 degree increase for our coastal temperatures, and that's not even where the advisory is. Our advisory will start 10 o'clock this morning for inland valleys. Look at that. All these communities here from Escondido through our mountains, and yes, even extending into parts of our deserts, heat advisory. But check out what's happening for the entire Western United States. There's a lot going on. We have heat advisories, as you see, across southern central California to the north. Fire weather watches. They have lightning strikes in their forecast today. Fire weather warnings up in Oregon, air quality issues, and excessive heat. So all of that because of a big ridge of high pressure. Our temperatures today, 77 in IB, 84 in San Ysidro, 88 in La Mesa, 92. You saw that in El Cajon, 93 in Ramona, 92 Escondido, 86 in Vista. Taking you to the mountains, it's hot here, Julian 92, 108 for Borrego Springs. Now, we also have a chance for thunderstorms today. So let's take you through this forecast model. Here we are. Look at that timestamp by about 2 o'clock this afternoon. When we start to feel that heat of the day, the hottest time of our day, that's when these pop-up thunderstorms typically occur because we just have this unstable air mass, that high pressure just building and building. Uh, so for today, we could see those thunderstorms coming a little bit west of the mountains. Overall, here's that ridge. Look at all the moisture. It's sweeping into our area. I also want to show you this troughing is coming through Sunday. So by Monday, our temperatures will start to ease up a little bit. And then we have Olaf as well. So that's impacting southern Baja right now. And that could bring in some rain. Olaf eventually might become a hurricane by today. And then eventually it'll downgrade. And that's going to increase our surf. So by Sunday and Monday, our waves are going to get a lot bigger, four to eight footers possible. But here's a check of that eight day where you'll see the heat is on throughout at least this coming weekend. And I'll send it back.